welcome back to our Fashion Basics series. In this session, we're going to look at curved seams. We need two pieces of fabric. One is the concave and one is the convex. It's very important to find the centre of our seam and a quick way to do this would be to fold it in half and we're just going to mark that with a pin at right angles to the seam and do that on the convex side as well. So I'm going to take them so that they meet where you've put the pins in and now I'm going to put that pin through both pieces of fabric. What we need to do now is to manipulate this concave piece to meet the convex edge and we can give it a little bit of a stretch as we do so and rather than pinning parallel to that raw edge we're going to pin, continue to pin at right angles so it should give us a really nice smooth seam when we stitch. So we work from the centres out and we're going to go from the centre out towards the other end. There's a lot of pinning there but it's very important to prepare very well for this type of seam. So now we're going to take that to the sewing machine, turn on the machine, let it warm up. So we're going to back tack at the beginning of the seam just to secure it and we're going to hold on to the threads so that they don't tangle under our work. And then take the pins out. Now by now you should be getting used to what a one centimetre seam allowance looks like. We're going to back tack again just to secure the seam. Knee lift, turn off the machine and snip off our threads. Now it's not going to sit very nicely at this point so just as we did before we're going to clip the concave side every couple of centimetres towards the line of stitching and now you can see if we press with our fingers the seam allowance to one side and turn it over that we have this lovely um, seam but we need to press it. Remember to press and blast the steam out of the iron before applying heat and pressure And here we have our curved seam. And in the next session, we're going to look at gathered seams.